Hi Aquarius, welcome to your angel card reading for the month of January. This is Mary, and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome returning. Thank you so much for coming back. So Aquarius, I decided to uh, switch it up this month. Instead of doing a spirit message reading, I decided to do an angel card reading instead. So we're going to get messages from your angel team, see what you need to hear th uh, this time, at this time. And Aquarius, I am thinking, uh, you can leave me comments below of discontinuing um, these types of readings because they're not really getting the views. So I'd rather do what you guys would like to see. You know, I enjoy doing all the readings I do, but I also notice the general readings do not get a lot of views either. So um, let me know in the comments. Um, I may discontinue those and maybe sometime in the future as the channel grows, maybe I'll add them back in. But I'm thinking about um, just doing bi-weekly uh, love connection and singles readings instead. And uh, again, let me know what you think. And I may also discontinue the new series I started, um, the Element Weekly Energy Readings, as they're not really going over that great either. But I'm going to probably give it a try a few more weeks, see how it goes. But again, leave me comments below. Tell me what you think. If I do continue these spiritual readings, I'm thinking about changing the theme every week. Maybe one week doing uh, messages from your spirit guides or your angel team or maybe spirit animal reading or, you know, wisdom of the, you know, earth kind of reading or divine energy reading or something like that. So I don't know. I haven't decided yet. So, um, but for now, I, you know, I have ideas, but then I also may be discontinuing those two types of readings, like I said, and just doing the love reading. So let me know what you think. Let me know what you want to see in the comments below. So, so welcome Aquarius. I hope everybody's doing well. Hope you had a great Christmas and a happy new year. So Aquarius, let's see what your angel team wants you to know at this time, what you need to hear at this time. So we have the guardian angel deck here. We have the archangel deck there. We have the crystal angels there. And then I'll clarify with tarot, one tarot card for each angel card. And then at the end, Aquarius, I do have the angel answers here. So while I'm doing this reading, think of a question or something you need advice or guidance on. And at the end, it can be about anything. At the end, I'll pull a card and see what we get. Um, maybe an answer to your question or advice or guidance uh, about whatever you're thinking of. So think of that while we do this reading here. And all the decks are listed below. So you can check that out. Decks I'm using, social media links. Um, if you'd like to reach out for personal reading or tip or donate or send a gift, all that information is below and I do consider all my readings timeless so I'm just going to say for at this time and if you'd like to go back and watch previous readings or any kind of readings all your playlists are below for Aquarius so let's get three of these I'm going to pull three from each deck first and then we'll pull a um, tarot card we'll go over them and then I'll pull a tarot card for each card to give a little more meaning and then I'll pull um, angel answers for you at the end. See what we get for your question. All right. So let's get three of these. Four. Oh, I've got three right there. For Aquarius. See what they need to know at this time. Thank you, everybody, for your support that you've given the channel, whether you reached out for personal reading or uh, tipped or donated to the channel, um, just subscribed. Whatever you've done is truly, truly appreciated. I couldn't do it without you guys. So... Thank you so much. It's truly, truly appreciated. All right, so let's see what your angels want you to know at this time. Your angel team. Let's see what we have here. So we have Archangel Raphael coming through. So I'm going to read it in the book. So that may be an angel you may need to look into, research on, ask for help and assistance with, guidance from, work with Archangel Raphael. And now we have Strength as Archangel Michael. There, each card is out, outlined in a color. So blue is Archangel Michael. And we have white here too now, communication. And I think, I don't remember um, what the white one is, but let's go over Archangel Raphael. It's a little bit long here, so bear with me. You can skip ahead if you like to. The name Raphael in Hebrew means God has healed. In Jewish and Christian tradition, Raphael was the archangel of healing. He was believed to have passed on the knowledge of medicinal herbs to Noah. Today, Raphael is also known as the archangel of cons cons bleh, consecration. 
and dedication. In addition to this, he is associated with science, innovation, and intellectual capability. The Archangel of Spring, the West and Renewal, Raphael assists with all levels of healing from individual to global, seeking truth and scientific exploration. His symbols are a caduceus, I don't even know what that is, a staff with serpents entwined around it, which is traditional symbol of medicine. Okay. And a book, a signifying knowledge. His service to the universe is to lead doctors, nurses, and other healers by radiating his loving light through them. Many of us have to contend with physical, emotional, and phys physiological pain in the course of our life. Working with this archangel can help with this by attracting healing energy into our being. Raphael can bring rest from pain or worry. It can dispel negative influences, re-energizing us. He works on many levels, both physical and psychological. He may be able to help a persistent pain or lessen or disappear or enable us to he may be able to help a persistent pain to lessen or disappear, okay, or enable us to see an, an emotional issue in a more positive light. Uh, let's see. Visualize Raphael's green light around you. Ask him to grace you with his presence. He will bring you the energies of healing and transformation. So, wow. So some of you, if you need healing from something, um, whether it's physical, emotional, Whatever here, this angel can really help you with that. And also, if you think you're a healer, maybe they he can help you also to um, connect with those energies and maybe strengthen, strengthening your uh, healing abilities also for some of you. Okay, so we have strength here, which is under Archangel Michael. So let's see if we find it, which does remind me of the strength card in uh, the tarot. But let's see what this has to say. We all have inner strength that arises from our depths in times of hardship. The angel of strength reminds you of this and reassures you that whatever storms you are going through, she is with you. If you are feeling vulnerable for any reason, ask the angel to sustain you. So sit quietly for a few minutes, breathe deeply, and study her steadfast image to tune into her energy. Afterward, keep your mind open to her so that you will recognize any people or information that she sends to help you even if you do not particularly need help now the angel advises you to build your spiritual strength for the future by meditating on this card reading about inspirational people and connecting with nature so it's about having inner strength getting gaining strength within yourself spiritual strength connecting to that energy some of you may be a healer and may need to strengthening your strengthen your healing gifts you have communication here so some a lot of healers are healers through communication such as i read i mean i'm not claiming to be a healer but as i do tarot readings and that's like communication and a lot of people have told me i've helped them greatly with my readings so okay so let's see now we have communication which falls under um let's see here tell you which angel archangel gabriel so we have archangel raphael michael and gray uh gray <laughs> gabriel oh my gosh communication all right let's see what this has to say for you aquarius the best way to communicate with anyone is from the heart with joy and gratitude the angel of communication can help you deepen the understanding between yourself and other people by combining your thoughts your in your feelings like the lyrics and the melody of, in a beautiful song. If you are trying to discuss feelings or difficult issues with another person, but are struggling to find the appropriate words or the right time, first meditate on what you wish to express to that person. Ask the angel of communication to inspire you by revealing to you the appropriate words to use and by prompting you to speak when the time is right. Trust in the outcome, knowing that the angel is with you. So if some of you are having trouble uh, communicating to somebody for some reason, in some way, I mean, communication may be needed, but maybe you're having trouble with that. So really um, asking for help here. Um, and I already forgot what angel that is. Gabriel. Yeah, I messed up his name. How can I forget? Oh, boy. Okay. <laughs> 
So we have here, brilliant idea, Archangel Uriel. Yes, your idea is divinely guided. Please take action to bring your idea to fruition. So, wow. Some of you may have this idea about being a healer in some way. And you really want to strengthen your gifts so that you can communicate clearly. You can use them clearly in the way they're supposed to be used. It's also what I'm getting. If it's not that, um, if some of you need healing, like I said, in some way, physical, emotionally, whatever, Archangel Raphael can help you. Uh, and needing inner strength here to combat something, to face something, spiritual strength. And whatever communication needs to be had, um, and you're worried about that, not sure when, where, how, you may need help with that. But whatever idea you have here is the telling you it's a good idea. So whatever that is for you. So we have, you know what to do, Archangel Uriel. So they're coming up twice. Uriel's coming up twice here. So Archangel Uriel, trust your inner knowledge and act upon it without delay. So you got two cards here of acting on something. This is trusting the inner knowledge that you have about this idea and act upon it without delay. And it's both cards are telling you that. So if you have the idea, like it's been lit inside you and you've been enlightened with the light around your head. It's like, you know, it's like you want to take action and, you know, almost like having an arrow here and shooting that arrow on your target. So now we have Archangel Rat Jophiel. Get rid of clutter, clear the energy around you, and use feng shui. So some of you just need may need to clear clutter, clear your space. Uh, it can be also things, people, places, and things, not just things. So that's a uh, message for some. Anything that doesn't serve you. So ha here we have aquamarine. And that's so weird because you're Aquarius and we have aquamarine. <laughs> Okay, divine life purpose, trust the signs in your inner guidance, which are leading you to fulfillment. So some of you, I'm getting strong, some of you may want to take the path, a path into a healing path, like a healing, like a healer of some kind, even if it's being a doctor or a nurse or something like that. It's your divine life purpose here. We have Ruby here, bless your heart. Reach out for emotional and spiritual support to heal and mend your heart. So if, uh, if your heart needs healing, uh, reach out to your, to your angel team for help. Then we have Tanzanite, ready to love again. You've healed from the past enough to open your heart to new love. So if some of you have been, I'm getting these two kind of go together. If you've been hurt by past love. It's time to heal and mend from that and reach out for help. But then you're also ready to love again. So some of you maybe have already healed from that and you're ready to open up to love again. Or heal your heart so you can open up to love again. Okay, so let's get some tarot on this to give a little more meaning for you Aquarius. I do ask Aquarius, if you like how I read, to please do like, share, comment, subscribe. I love to read the comments. If you subscribe, don't forget the, to hit the bell. I am doing, uh, like I said, different readings right now, so you can check out my channel if you like what you see. Uh, I may be narrowing it down to just the love readings. I'm not sure yet. So if you do subscribe and hit the bell, thank you, thank you. That's too many. Okay, one, two, get one more, three. Let's get three for over here. One. This one's crawling out to me. This is the Morgan Brea Tarot. Thank you for everybody for your support. I don't know if I said that already. If I did, I'm saying it again. Okay, let's get two more. Nope. One more. And I'll go over the bottom of the deck. A few cards from the bottom. And then we'll get an answer to your question. So Archangel Raphael helping you to heal. So the Hierophant here is uh, faith, spirituality, um, religion doing what's moral, just and right, being committed to something, um, kind of energy, morals. So I feel like if, if there's something you really need to commit to, to heal, there's something that needs healing, but you need to commit to healing this. So whether it's emotional or maybe it's physical and you need therapy and you know you need to act, do this exercise or you need to go and do this every day, but you don't do it. So there's something here you need to stay committed to it so you can heal. Like I said, whether it's 
physical, emotional, or something like that, sticking to therapy, sticking, sticking to counseling, or, you know, social groups, or whatever here, because the Hierophant is all about commitment, so I'm getting the, getting the message you need to stay committed to something so you can heal, like I said, whether it's emotional, physical, all right, so we have strength, and we have the Ten of Cups, so wow, that's great energy, so Having all this inner strength, gaining your strength, courage and being brave and standing up and being who you are and true to who you are will bring you emotional fulfillment in every single way. Happy home and family, happy life and fulfilled, all your cups filled and filled in every single way. As long as you stand tall, stand strong, stand proud, having that, that you know, courageous, brave energy and standing up and being who you are. And having that inner strength and spiritual strength, spiritual connection will bring you fulfillment in every single way. And luck with the rainbow. So we have communication. And we have the Knight of Pentacles. So maybe a slow process here. I feel like there's something that someone or something you've been wanting to approach or um, communicate to. And it's been a very long, long, hard process here. The Pentacles is a very slow energy. But it's grounded. It's stable. It's secure. It's something trustworthy so and dedicated so i feel like you know you're trying and you're trying you're making slow practical smart approaches steps towards this communication but i think you still need to keep on that path because i really think whatever this communication is really needs to be had all right whatever that means for you so we have here brilliant idea archangel uriel yes your idea is divinely guided please take action to bring your idea to fruition so we have the three swords. Hmm, so that's a painful, hurtful energy. I feel like for some of you, this is an idea that you really want to bring to fruition and you're just like heartbroken that you're not like living out your life's purpose or doing what you truly feel you're meant to do. So it's like, it's like your heart is bleeding here. Like I really want to live out my purpose. I know what I want. I know what I need to do. I know it's divinely guided for me, but for some reason you haven't acted upon that yet. So you're kind of stuck in this energy. Hmm. Or there's something maybe painful and hurtful that's happened to you. It's holding you back on this idea for some reason. You know what to do. Archangel Uriel, trust your inner knowledge and act upon it without delay. So, the, wow. <laughs> I can't make that up. This is the magician. So, yep, I know what I'm going to do and I'm going to manifest the hell out of it. I'm going to use my pentacles, my stability, my truth, my clarity, my ambition, drive, and passion, and my love and compassion and peaceful energy and knowledge. And I'm going to manifest this idea, manifesting this idea. And you know how to do it. You can do it with the magician. Manifesting a brand new beginning here with one. So you trust your inner knowledge, act upon it, and there's the magician making it happen. So... All right, so we have clear your space, get rid of clutter, clear the energy around you, and use feng shui. Yep, so you really need to work on clearing things out of your life that are no longer serving you. People, places, things, toxic energies, uh, negative energies, whatever is holding you back, holding you down, just making you feel cluttered and um, overwhelmed. It's time to work on getting rid of all that energy out of your life. The Eight of Pentacles energy here. So now we have Aquamarine, Divine Life Purpose. Trust the signs in your inner guidance, which are leading you to fulfillment. And the Five of Pentacles. So again, I'm getting this energy. So get the Three Swords over here and the Five of Pentacles. So the Five of Pentacles is like being left out in the cold, um, abandoned, neglected. So I feel like because you're not living your Divine Life Purpose, you're feeling like, like just like you're not on the right path like you're just like at a loss lonely confused like like feeling unfulfilled and just like blah and like hurt like I just want to live my purpose whatever that means for you you could have monetary lack also that is holding you back from fulfilling your life purpose and moving forward in that direction also 
So we have here, Ruby, bless your heart. Reach out for emotional and spiritual support to heal and mend your heart. Wow, look at that. Ten of Swords. Pain, I, I can't make this up. Painful, hurtful ending here. So yeah, you've been through an ending here, which is hurtful and painful. Could have been a relationship. It could have been a career or something like that. I'm getting a relationship because we do have new love in this next card. So some sort of maybe long-term relationship here finally came to an end. It was very hurtful and painful. But just know, reach out for emotional and spiritual support to help you heal and mend so you can move on. And also people around you, friends, family, counseling, therapy, whatever you need to do here. And then we have Tanzanite, ready to love again. You've healed from the past enough to open your heart to new love. But you're feeling conflicted with the five of wands. Uh, it's about conflict, can be inner conflict. You're not sure, do I want to love again? You know, and the our angel team knows that, but they're telling you that you are ready, even though you're very, very conflicted, maybe about jumping into something new or even maybe going out and dating or mingling or anything like that. You're very, very conflicted and not sure, am I ready for this? Can I jump into something else here? And your angel team is like, yes, you are ready to love again. You can overcome that hurtful ending, or you have overcome it. And then we have the Six of Pentacles. So feeling balanced, getting balanced here. Equal reciprocation. So we have the King of Cups, a loving, compassionate, peaceful energy. Six of Cups, you know, people from the past. Um, could be past life relationship here. Soulmate energy. And loving communication coming in with the Page of Cups. Um, feeling nostalgia, you know, maybe someone you've known from the past. Soulmate energy and love, compassion, peace, and harmony, and f balance and equal reciprocation kind of energy also here. So that's a good energy there. So let's get let's get an answer to your question or advice or guidance in whatever you're thinking of at this time. For Aquarius, please. Thank you so much. Can we have one card for Aquarius in regards to their question or whatever they're thinking about at this time? Please, Angel Team. Thank you so much. One card for Aquarius. Okay, that's your card. I didn't feel it yet. Usually it either flies or it sticks in my hand. So, abundance. So, look at that. By all this energy here, and following through and opening up to love again, you're going to have all this abundance come into your life. And it can be work, career, finance, love, happiness and joy, all sorts of abundance. But then we have no. So at the bottom, so I don't know what that no could be. Um, maybe you're resisting a lot of things here. Maybe this is just a no, it's not to resist these energies because you can have abundance here. Okay, Aquarius, so I'm sending you many light, love, and blessings. Best of luck to you, and always, always shine your light.